Day 6 of the Judo World Championships started off quite exciting. My man Farah, one of the guys I picked to win it, started off really well, getting an Epon within 17 seconds of his first contest. But then against Kotsuev from Azerbaijan, ends up getting thrown with this big Uchimata. Let's have a look at it again, slowed down a bit. Kotsuev did really well to take his lapel hand off and roll with it. Otherwise, I think his head would have gone planting straight into the mat. So Farah, he was out, but the other man I picked, Adamian from Russia. All the other Russians haven't really been kind of confident, haven't really been themselves, which is understandable. We all know why, but Adamian really let the judo do the speaking for him. He got through Sulemanidze. He was the number one seed, took out Al Nahas here. And Al Nahas, I think what happened, you can definitely see it on his face as he turns over here, but I think he popped a rib or hurt the, the cartilage in his rib. I've done this before. It's certainly not pleasant. After this, he's not going to like laughing, sneezing, getting out of bed. It just hurts that side of the chest so much. And you can see the pain on his face here. But El Nahas, a definite warrior. I would have given up as soon as it happened. And unfortunately, he ended up getting in the same situation. Adamian going for the same now as a transition. And El Nahas, he just, he wasn't going to take it. He wasn't going to go through that again. So the finals, it was Kropelik versus Adamian. And Adamian, he's so good on the feet. He's so strong and he's technically sound. It was just really hard for Kropelik to get him down to the ground. Although you can see the size difference is massive. It's incredible that Kropelik makes under 100s these days. But he lost the three Shittles. Adamian wins it. So a Russian world champion at under 100s. It's pretty incredible. And I told you guys before, I made a video about Adamian. Go check it out. He is a monster. Before we move on, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, like the video. And if you've been here for a while and you like what I do, think about supporting it. Hit that join button. It's just a few dollars a month and it really helps me out. So Ida Kentaro ends up throwing last year's world champion, Toroboyev. And in my opinion, Toroboyev last year, he kind of surprised everyone with his unique judo. It's got a really interesting Uchimata that he does, kind of Makikomi style. But people figured him out. He lost a lot like this throughout the year. So I definitely didn't pick him to get far in this year's World Championships. But Ida, he lost against Paltrick Peter. And this throw, it's the same throw that Paltrick Peter threw Ida with last year at the Grand Slam at Ulaanbaatar. With this result, I think Japan's probably going to send out Aaron Wolf pretty soon and also Green. See how those guys do. Uyoka as well. I'm just not sure if Ida is the right man for the job at Paris. Also guys, I should mention the bronze medals. Paltrick Peter, he ended up getting bronze, but I mean, he went out for this head diving earlier on. It's unfortunate. And his opponent who met Kropalik in the semifinal, Kotsuev. Kotsuev, he also got done for head diving here. It's just unfortunate. I really want to see matches decided by the individual's abilities and not by these tiny little things. Although it was pretty definitive in the bronze medal contest with Kotsuev and Sulemanidze. Kotsuev, nice counter here, taking the bronze. And before we get into the results from the women, we'll have a look at some Ipons and some other highlights from the men's. Look at Kropalik just dominating Pirelli here. Pirelli, I mean, he took out Aaron Wolf, but Kropalik too big. Sulemanidze definitely on form. Had some really good throws. Nice Tayatoshi here, setting it up with the foot sweep to start. And then this Ashiwaza, this was beautiful. I mean, look at that, come on, that's awesome. Only scored a Wazari though. Uchimata for Ippon here. There were a couple of good Uchimatas actually. This one, faking the, the Ashiguruma, then going in for the Uchimata. And another one by Reyes. Nice turning Uchimata here. I think it was only the other day I was talking about Kosoto Uchimata and how great of a combination it is. Well, there you go. And here's another one from Reyes. This time a little bit different. Starts it off with Oji Kochi. Goes in for it and then a Harai Goshi. That was really well done. Only a Wazari. Kataguruma from Nikiforov. And if you didn't pick it up, Reyes in that last clip, he was throwing Nikiforov. So Nikiforov, strong competitor. Although Reyes took him out earlier on. And lastly guys, another early knockout. Coral ended up losing to this Kataguruma from Veg. 
Usually, Coral, I mean, he's got pretty good defense, but Kataguruma, it's a sneaky throw. Some people are used to it, some people aren't. So, in the women at under 78, I mean, we're going to talk about Hamada for a second, but she made it through a couple of rounds, but ever since the Olympics, she just looks old. I think she's done. I think she needs to retire. Here's uh, Belandi beating her, but it was a match won by Shido. Nothing really exciting here. Same thing can be said about the other bronze medal contest. Steen Huis taking out Ma from China. Taking out Ma from China. Although what I've been noticing recently is there have been a lot more female Chinese athletes, especially at the heavier weights, getting on the podium. The final was definitely much more exciting. Lania, really exciting judo. Just going for it here. This unfortunately, no score. I'm not too sure why, maybe lack of control or something. But then not too long later, ends up getting an Epon. And that's it for day six, guys. Day seven is hours away. Saito, come on Saito. Take out Teddy Rainier and I will be a happy man. Alright guys, see you later. Peace.